We are Cheryl and David Goldstein. Most of you know that already. We are in Baker, Nevada, or Nevada, depending Nevada. how you want to say it. Um, we are right outside of Great Basin National Park. We had a thunderstorm a couple of uh, hours ago, and it got very windy and cold, and it's very muddy out here. But we're going to do our best to show you around our new RV. We've been living in it for a month now, and um, we're excited to finally show it uh, show it off to you. So now, I'm going to take the camera. So now we got to figure out how to flip it around, which I don't exactly know how to do. Let's camera. see. Oh, there we go. All right, excellent. There we go. All right, so All right. this is where we're staying in a big gravel lot with a pretty view of the mountains. Behind a gas station, but it's uh, very convenient to the park. And uh, so this is our new house. So it's a 23 new price. It's majestic. It's uh, 40 feet long on the inside, about 44 feet on the outside. Uh, add a couple feet on the back for the bicycles that we have on the back. Quick walk around. Uh, huge pass through storage compartment in uh, the basement. Uh, it goes all the way through to the other side. There's a door on the other side and a sliding tray so we can get to stuff easily. Uh, it's really big, and one of the nice things that Big Horizons does is they put the generator underneath the coach. So when you come up here, you can get to that big storage. Lauren says you have to talk louder. Yeah, in the, because of the wind problem. You can get to that big storage from here, too. So we got all our stuff stored in there. And, oh, wait, let's look at the front. The rain washed all the bugs off of it. Well, it washed most of the bugs off of it. There you go. So that's what it looks like. It's got more light in there. So we've walked in the front door. Straight ahead of you is our living space. Oh, it's a lot quieter out here. And when we look around to the left, we have our chairs and we have a rear kitchen, which is becoming a more popular style. And then when we swing back around to the door you and you see David shoes. taking his shoes off, you also see the dining area. And then to the right of the door is the upstairs of the bedroom, and we'll show you that in a minute. So I'm going to turn back around. All right, and we'll look at the kitchen, which is one of my favorite rooms in the house. Not that there's that many rooms. 
I love to cook, and I, I just love this kitchen, all the counter space that it has. And so if you want to come around on this side, uh, we've got tons of upper cabinet storage. We got to actually design all the drawers, all the cabinets to our specifications. So we were able to do things like put in a pull-out cutting board, and right below that is trash and recycles, so that we've actually got a place to put our recycled cans, all those Diet Dr. Pepper cans. Lots of drawers here, some deep drawers there for um, pots and things like that. More deep drawers over on this side. And the best part. The best part? Oh, the dishwasher. The dishwasher. <laughs> Which is running. So um, Cheryl likes that. I love having all the space. We have a residential refrigerator. A lot of RVs uh, come with um, uh, propane and 12-volt uh, refrigerators. This was larger than those. So we actually have enough room to store quite a bit of stuff. And then I especially like the pantry where uh, we've got uh, shelving and then we designed these drawers to hold stuff so that you're not um, rummaging around in the back of a deep shelf to try to find things. So that's really nice. More storage on the floor and lots of storage for spices. Uh, I counted up and I've got something like 70 or 80 bottles of spices and they're all there and they're in alphabetical order so I can find stuff when I need it. So that's the kitchen. Uh, oh yeah. So, switching places. Switching places. So uh, this is something we actually got to design custom. One of the problems we had in our old RV was we had no place to put brooms and mops and stuff like Vacuum that. Vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. And so we built this. Well, actually, we didn't build it. New Horizons built it. Uh, but we designed it, and it's a place to store all the cleaning supplies. Our Dyson plugs in uh, uh, to a plug right there in the slide out. Everything's there. We got a, a mop and stuff like that. So that's really convenient. The dining area turns out to be really nice. Um, this is quite different from what we had in our last RV. Uh, this is a fixed table, and then it's got this buffet over here with lots of storage underneath so we can keep extra napkins and tablecloths and stuff like that uh, down there. And this has a leaf in it. We've actually had uh, other people over for dinner, so it'll seat four pretty comfortably. just pulls out. That's kind of nice. And then over here, uh, we have our uh, theater seating. This is from Lambright uh, Comfort Furniture, same comfort chairs. Same company that we got the furniture from in the uh, old RV. And these are really, really comfortable. We enjoy after a hike uh, coming home or a long driving day coming home and uh, relaxing in the chair. So I'm just going to take a quick nap. No. Nope. Um, got to keep going. So, uh, and then the chairs face the uh, television. <laughs> was we, I wanted a, uh, a large TV. This is a 65-inch um, OLED TV. We, one of the ways to get that to fit in an RV is to put it crossways. Otherwise, it takes up a lot of wall space and you lose windows. So we've got uh, the TV, entertainment center, sound bar. Um, and then up here, uh, we spec'd out kind of an internet uh, device cabinet. So we've got our router and switch and all the other um, tech gear uh, that we use to stay connected to the internet. We did kind of a, something pretty different. We had, for those of you who saw our old RV, we had a desk that we had built across the back. We were able to actually design this desk in. It's much nicer. Uh, we both have uh, places to sit, even though we're not working anymore. Uh, we still do a lot of stuff on the computer, travel planning and, and blogging and stuff like that. And so we each have our own space with a scanner there. We built a drawer here for our laser printer to sit on. So that doesn't have to take up counter space. And then there's storage uh, up above there and more storage down here in the entertainment center. Oh, yeah. These, so these little platforms here, one of the challenges uh, with putting the desk in a slide is that the slide floor is not um, level with the floor of the living space. And so uh, New Horizons built us these little platforms 
that allow us to roll the chairs back without falling off. And when we're driving, when we uh, close up the slides, we just take those and we tuck them underneath the desk. So this is the living area. So just to kind of spin around again, we've got TV, desk, chairs, kitchen, pantry, dining, front door. So now from the front door, we're going to go up the stairs. So one of the things that we wanted to have was a coat closet. We always hung our coats by the door in the other, uh, in the landmark. And we really wanted a place that we could store coats near the door, but out of view. And so we actually took some space away from the uh, clothes closet, which you'll see in a minute. I can't it's going to be hard to see. Yeah. Um, and we, here we go. Uh, built the coat closet in here. Oh, let's show the Firefly. We didn't do that. Well, while well, you're here, actually. So we have uh, a solar power system. Open the other door. Uh, so we've got uh, 600 amp hours of lithium batteries, for those of you who know what that is. And that allows us to basically be off-grid as long as we don't need to run air conditioning. We can run pretty much everything else. And uh, this system controls the entire electrical system. So we can see uh, how much current we're using on DC and AC loads and how our battery charge status is and things like that. Okay. And the other kind of cool bit of technology we have is this uh, matrix uh, lighting control system for Firefly integrations. So this lets us control all Everything. the lights in the coach. <laughs> it lets us see our um, fresh water tank and gray tank and black tank levels, turn on the water heaters, turn on or turn off the generator, run the awnings. We can control the lights individually from here. Um, it also controls the um, three slide outs so that when we're closing up to... Um, uh, to, to travel or opening up when we arrive, we do it from there. So that's a pretty nice system. And there are panels, auxiliary panels throughout the house that let us control the lights in each room. So come up here to the bedroom. And we're going to answer questions at the end. Um, Connie, I have my shoes on just in case you were wondering. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is the bedroom. Um, we uh, have a, a king size bed. We actually stretched out because it was a custom design. We could do pretty much anything we wanted. So we made this slide wide enough so that we both had uh, nightstands. There's storage up above. There's storage underneath the bed. Um, we have, I don't know how you want to do this. Um, we have this big kind of barn door that serves as the closet door, but it also does double duty as the bedroom door. So we can close the bedroom off if I get up early in the morning, which I do most mornings, let Cheryl sleep a little bit. Uh, we wanted a full length mirror and they did a beautiful job actually creating one that looks like it's just really meant to be in the room. Uh, really, really nice. The closet has a light in it. We uh, specced out a shelf uh, that was high enough for us to tuck laundry baskets underneath so we don't have to have our laundry sitting out. Oops. I was going to say, let me just, there we go. There's laundry. That's the closet. And it really does look that neat most of the time. We have a second, uh, second closet over here. This is one I use for, for my shirts. Uh, so we've got a little bit between this closet and the big one I just showed you and the coat closet. We've got a little bit more rod space than we had in our old RV, and then we've got drawers down here and cabinets up here for clothing and stuff like that. Did I miss anything in here? Just this is one of those other control panels that uh, I was mentioning. So this controls the lights in the bedroom. We can turn things on and off there. And there's even, and this is pretty cool, there is a panel right up above the bed where we can turn lights on and off when we're in bed. Uh, including a security button that turns on our outside lights and then a button that turns on all the lights. In and case we ever need and um, David is very excited about the fact that he has a nightstand also. That was one of the uh, yeah, didn't have requirements yeah, that's right. was that he had a nightstand also. So we also have both have room for our CPAPs. And so we've been moving from the back of the RV to the front. So we're now up in the very front. We have a front bath. And one of the reasons we did that was so that we could have two sinks. 
Uh, so we, we each have our own sink, our own medicine cabinet up here. Um, Cheryl's got one over there. There's some, one in the middle and drawers in the middle that we share. Um, it's kind of tight in here, so I'm going to try to yeah. swing around. We've got a little um, uh, window, and we have the MCD day-night shades. Which are really nice. So it looks a little funky now because it's just the day shade, which is like kind of like another screen. Like screen, yeah. Yeah. And here we have a washer dryer, stackable washer dryer. Uh, there's a, a load of, of clothes ready to be folded and another one ready to be dried. Yes. <laughs> And a uh, nice shower, good size shower over here. It's a corner shower. Uh, looks like a shower. Put a nice shower head in it though. It's a higher end oxygenic shower head um, that has lots of different spray patterns. We've got a skylight in the shower. And then a macerating toilet. It's the only garbage disposal we have on board is in the toilet. Uh, grind stuff up so we don't get clogs. A nice and, Max Air fan. Yeah, Max Air fan in here. Uh, which can actually be thermostatically controlled. It'll go on and off depending on temperature if we want it to. And there's another one in the kitchen for when I'm burning something in the oven. Uh, that's the main thing that it's used for. Got some hooks for uh, bath towels. We had to put them on the outside of the door. So that was the only challenge. And uh, I think that is it. Doesn't take long. It's not a very big house, but it sure is nice. We really like it. And... Uh, it, it feels like home. It's very comfortable. It, you know, because we were able to design it the way we wanted it, uh, it's really, with, with only very few exceptions, exactly how we wanted it.